So here we have made a kit uh, which is used uh, during uh, quiz competitions. This kit can be used to conduct uh, quiz competitions in two methods. So uh, one method is where you will have uh, a number of uh, users, for example, eight users and one question will be given to them and whoever first uh, selects the answer or chooses the answer uh, uh, or provides the input for the answer uh, that particular user's LED will glow so for example as you can see there are uh, eight users uh, rank wise now if we throw a question at them and now they have to use and they have to be uh, selected in terms of who answers the question in the fastest time so as soon as the first user inputs the answer that particular user's LED will glow and the same number will be displayed here so so this is a ranking in which uh, the users have uh, punched in their values so this is uh, one method and then we'll have to switch this particular connector And this is the other mode where <coughs> wherein we have only two users and uh, four, one set of four buttons have been given to each user. So that is one set of four options have been given to each user. So now if a common question is given to both users and they need to uh, arrange the options in a particular order. So for that we use this particular method. So for example, we uh, throw a question uh, at both users and they have to rearrange the uh, four options in a particular order. So the user who As you can see, the user who inputs the first four options, uh, uh, that particular order or that particular user's inputs are uh, have been glown by the uh, LEDs and the same has been displayed on the uh, LCD. And if that answer does not match, then we can go to the other user. So this is how this kit works. And you can order this kit from our website. Uh, kitsguru.com where you'll find two versions of the kit one where you'll uh, get this ready-made kit as you can see here and the other is where you'll get all the components separately and you can assemble those components with the help of our video tutorials on how to assemble those components and how to solder them properly so in this section of the video we'll see uh, what all components are used in this kit and how to assemble those components and how to check the power supplies and how to convert a set of components into a complete working kit so uh, as you can see we have a ready-made kit here for reference and with the help of this ready-made kit we'll assemble the uh, set of components onto this PCB and check uh, later on check the power supplies. So this is the main PCB the printed circuit board and it has two parts this is the top layer and this is the bottom layer which has all the copper tracks. So uh, the, this is the part where we insert all the components and this is the part where the soldering takes place. So the technology that we use is called a through hole technology in which uh, we drill holes throughout the PCB from the top and then uh, insert the components from the top and solder uh, the components from the bottom. So now uh, we'll see how the components have been uh, inserted and how, how are the directions and alignment of the components takes place. So for that we'll uh, take this PCB and keep it in line with the ready-made PCB so that we can uh, identify the directions and alignment of each and every component. Starting off the power supply, as you can see we have a power jack here uh, to supply power through a, an adapter. And then we have an on-off switch. So this is the on-off switch uh, to switch on and off the circuit. And then we use a bridge rectifier. A bridge rectifier is used uh, to convert AC input into DC output. So uh, in case you are giving an input power supply through a transformer, you need to convert that into a DC output. For that, we use a bridge rectifier. 
uh when you look at the bridge rectifier it has four terminals uh two input ac signals and uh, ac inputs and output of uh, positive and negative dc so that is why it has four terminals so when you look at the piece, uh, bridge rectifier from the top the positive terminal the pin corresponding to the positive terminal has the longest uh, stem as you can see so while inserting the uh, bridge rectifier we have to ensure that the positive terminals on the top left side the rest of the components will align by itself and uh, this bridge rectifier does not produce smooth dc it produces pulsating dc so we need to convert that into smooth dc for that we use a uh, an electrolytic capacitor of 1000 microfarad so this has uh, even this has polarity so the stem which is longer in length is a positive terminal uh, in case both the stems are of equal length uh, there's this indication of negative terminal so this shows that this is a negative terminal so while inserting we have to ensure that the positive terminal is facing towards us and then uh, this entire the entire components and the circuit works uh, on 5 volts so we need to convert the input power supply into 5 volts output supply so for that we use a, a voltage regulator ic this is a voltage regulator ic uh, so the stem on the left is the first stem uh, that is input the center one is the ground and the third one uh, that is the right stem is the output of 5 volts so while inserting we need to ensure that the first stem is towards us so this is how the ic is fixed then there is a power <coughs> indicator led so we'll fix the power indicator led even the led has polarity in it so the stem which is longer in length is the positive terminal uh, and in case both the stems are of equal length uh, you'll notice that the bulb of the led gets flat at one point at one end so that end which gets flat is a negative terminal so while inserting the led we have to ensure that the uh, positive terminal is facing us and we always uh, insert a resistor of one kilo ohm uh, with color code brown black and red which is uh, in order to protect the led this doesn't have any polarity you can fix it in any direction you want then we'll fix the microcontroller before inserting the microcontroller we have to insert an ic base uh, this is in order to protect the uh, microcontroller uh, during soldering or in case if you need to replace the microcontroller in future you can use uh, do it easily so this is the microcontroller and this is the base uh, uh, you'll see notice that there's a notch here now usually the the left pin uh, from the notch the top left pin is the pin number one and then you need to count uh, count the number of pins counterclockwise so the top right pin is the pin number 40 so while inserting we have to ensure that the notch is as you can see towards you so first we'll insert the base and on top of the even this base has a notch which is facing you and on top of this base you have to insert the microcontroller then this microcontroller works on a clock frequency so for that we use a 10 megahertz uh, crystal oscillator and uh, in order to start the oscillation process we uh, use two capacitors of 33, 33 picofarad each uh, in parallel the microcontroller switch has to be reset and uh, the reset switch has to be pulled down for that we use a resistor of uh, 10k with color code brown black and orange so you need to uh, ensure that the color codes are proper so the color code for 10k is brown black and orange and along with that we use a switch micro switch this is a simple on and off switch when you press the switch it becomes on and when you release it becomes off so 
this is in order to reset the microcontroller then we need to fix as you can see we need to fix eight resistors uh, for corresponding to one led each so this resistors uh, are of 1k color code brown black and red these can be uh, inserted in any direction so like this you can insert all the uh, resistors and you can see there are a number of uh, leds now while inserting each led we have to ensure that the positive terminal is away from us so it is on the outer side so the the longest stem is on the outer side so each led has to be fixed with the positive terminal on the outer side and as you can see there are a number of micro switches also used here so each micro switch will be uh, inserted and then uh, there is a potentiometer which is used this is in order to control the brightness of the LCD display and before uh, inserting the LCD we have to insert a male birth strip so this male birth strip first goes here uh, and then uh, this this is the LCD and this is the female birth strip this has to be inserted into the uh, LCD and then it has to be inserted onto the male birth strip so you also have to ensure that you keep soldering all the components while uh, inserting them and then you can see there is one more connector which is used here so you'll have to break this uh, birth strip into uh, in such a way that there is a three pin uh, connector which is separated from here the rest of the connectors goes for the LCD so first you'll have to insert the uh, birth strip three pin birth strip and then you'll have to insert this connector and this is connected in such a way that uh, if you take this two pin connector if you connect it on the other side on the top side it has one mode and if you connect it on the bottom side and reset it it comes to the other mode so this is how the components have to be connected you'll also see a bunch of metallic wires these are called uh, uh, jumper wires so this is used when uh, a connection is not possible from the bottom side of the uh, pcb so we use the top side of metallic wires to connect the uh, components on the top side and now we'll see how the power supply has to be checked this is checked using a digital multimeter so this is the black terminal is the negative or the ground of the multimeter and we'll take this red terminal and the first pin of the voltage regulator IC should show the input supply that is uh, we have given through an adapter so it should show 12 volts but uh, the value is reduced due to the rectifier the third stem should show 5 volts as you can see uh, the pin number 40 of the microcontroller should show 5 volts the second last pin of the LCD should show 5 volts so once these connections uh, have been checked uh, you can go on and uh, connect your LCD and the microcontroller and finish the connections uh, you can order this kit from our website uh, kidscrew.com where you will find two versions of the kit one where you will get this complete ready made kit as shown here and the second one is where you'll get uh, the components all the components separately along with the uh, diagrams and the component specification sheet uh, and with the help of our video tutorials you'll be able to assemble them and solder them properly